Welcome to another Earth Engine tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use your local computer as a web server for hosting Earth Engine apps. Okay, so let's get started. Um, in order to follow this tutorial, um, you need to download the example from my GitHub folder. Yeah, you also need to install the GEMAP Python package. If you have not done this before, you can um, go to the repo and then follow the instruction to install GMAP. Okay, so I highly recommend that you use Conda to install the package. And after that, you can go to the examples folder under notebooks. And this is uh, uh, tutorial 28. So you can click this one. You can either clone the repo or you can click uh, the button here, raw. And then from here, you can just right click and save as. So you can save this one to your computer here. For example, I'm going to save this one to my downloads folder. So just hit downloads. And then it should be here under the downloads folder. Okay. And from there, we can use the terminal. So, um, because I'm using uh, Linux, but it's uh, very similar if you're using Windows or Mac computer. Okay, and let me go back to the home folder. Since I already installed the package, and I can just um, activate the Conda environment, and then from there I can just type Jupyter Notebook. Oh, by the way, I need to get into the downloads folder. So, cd downloads, and then from here you will see. The notebook example right now is uh, within the downloads folder so we can just type Jupyter notebook and then open the links so from here you should be able to see right now the notebook is within uh, Jupyter here and all you need to do is just hit uh, open let me uh, hide this one in here and so first of all let me uh, show you all the source code. This example is um, very similar to the previous tutorial. Uh, tutorial 27 uh, use uh, a local to deploy the apps but in this example I'm going to show you how to use a local computer so you don't have to rely on any external uh, website. Um, and so here are the instructions, uh, the steps that you need to follow. Once you set up this one, um, it's very simple. I only need a few seconds, then you can um, launch the app. But before I'm doing that, I'm just going to show you all the source code. The source code is the same as the previous tutorial. So all I need to do is just hit um, sale, run all, and it's automatically run all the source code. So then I can hide the source code just to show you what the app looks like. So this is, uh, the Earth Engine app that you want to publish because once you publish you can send a link to anyone and then they can open the app and you can visualize they can do whatever your app is uh, designed to do so for example in this case um, I would like to allow the user to create lane set time lapse so they can just simply draw a rectangle and then they can change the parameters here if they want and then just hit submit and the app will automatically um, gather all the, the data sets and then to generate the animations for you so this is what um, the app um, is going to look like uh, after you publish the apps so now let's get into the detail how to um, publish this one for now it's just a Jupyter Notebook running on your uh, computer is not published to the web yet. So in order to do this one, you will need um, two uh, software packages. So the first one is called Angrock. Um, I have the links here for you. Uh, you only need to just click the link and then you should um, navigate. So let me maximize. Oh, by the way, so the app, right, this just show you the result that I press. Um, the rectangle that I drew earlier and now you see the animation right so this is what you want to achieve um, as an Earth Engine app that other users can also use now 
So the first step that you need to install this one depends on your operating system. You can, um, mine is Linux, so I'm going to install this one. But if you use Windows or Mac, you can follow the links to install. It should be pretty straightforward, right? There are only four steps. And I can show you how I install this one using uh, uh, Linux. So I'm using uh, Manjaro. And in here, all I need to do is just ngrok. And then I can solve this one within the software repository. It's very uh, easy to use. And I can use this one or I can use this one. And then just hit view, apply, and it's done. So it's very easy to install. Once you have this one, the second step is to install uh, Voila. So Voila is a Python package that can um, turn your Jupyter notebook into a stand-alone uh, web page. So basically just uh, from a notebook to a web page. That's it. Because in here, this one, uh, the notebook we're using, this is a notebook. So we want to convert this one to a web page. And that's why we need this package. You can install using either um, Voila, uh, pip or you can use Conda. So make sure you install this one to um, your Conda environment that you already installed the GMAP. So once you have these two, then um, all you need to do is to follow the remaining steps, right? So we already download the um, Jupyter Notebook example. So right now it's here under this uh, notebook example. All we need to do is to uh, launch your terminal from this folder. So um, I can just shift um, F4 on Linux to get into this folder. And from here, all you need to do is just to type this one. But first, make sure that you activate your Conda environment. So I'm going to Conda activate the map, right? So and then I get into the environment. Then from there, I can copy this one and just paste. Maybe hit enter. Now you should uh, see the uh, output from here. And then you, if you see this one, localhost 8866. So localhost is your computer. 8866 is the port number. So all I need to do uh, is open the link. And now you see this one is right now executing a website. So if you see from here, this is right now a website running on your local computer. Compared to the previous one in here, this is different. Okay, so now this one is a standalone web page. You don't see the source code, right? But for this one, you, you can hide the source code. So this one, technically, this is a notebook. This one right now is web page. And you can do the same thing, right? You can draw a rectangle. You can zoom to any location you want. And um, all I need to do, do a rectangle, right? And then you can change the parameters. And just hit submit, right? So this is what right now is running using Voila. So the next step is that although this one is running on your local computer, it's not uh, accessible to the public yet because right now I'm at home. So there's a router, uh, the external communication cannot come in so that's why we need the Angrok actually to uh, create a tunnel between your local computer basically expose your local computer to the public and so the others can access this website and let's go back to this one in here go back to this one so all we need to do right now run this command uh, can copy or you can type right so i can need to copy the reason that we are using 8866 because earlier when we um run the voila you will see that this it is using the port number 8866 so basically we need to use the same port number and i can create, use another terminal okay so earlier things i already installed are uh, angrok so now all i need to do is paste right and then if you hit enter similarly you will see uh, the terminal output from here and you will see this here are two links in here http and https so you want to use this one and you will notice that 
Okay, uh, the first part here is kind of a random uh, string, and the other one is angrock.io. So this will be the same. So when people visit this URL, it's going to redirect the link to your local computer. So let's click this one and open the link. Take a look. And you will see the same thing. Right now it's executing. So this one, this URL right now is accessible to the public. If you want, I can copy and you can send to anyone. They should be able to open this one. It doesn't matter you are um, at home or you are uh, uh, outside or you are anywhere. You can, you can use your laptop, you can use your cell phone to access this URL. Anyone should be able to access this. And then, so from here, the same thing. I can draw any rectangle. I can run. So it's very simple and straightforward. Uh, that you can publish this one and you can make changes to the notebook if you want if you make any changes and then you just save and then refresh um, this web uh, the url it should be automatically refreshed this is very useful especially if a developer and you want to test your website um, using different uh, uh, platforms then all you need to do is to install this angrock and then you can if you have a website you can quickly turn your websites into a web page and then use the angrock to um create the communication between the external and to your local computer sometimes for example if you're working for a university or a company and if you're behind a firewall there's uh, outside connections are not allowed uh, into your company or the university and you can use this one actually as a workaround because um, when the user go to this link and then the link will redirect one to the internal and so that others can have access to the website okay so uh, this is uh, pretty much about uh, the app and there are some options that you can customize so for example right now what we are seeing in here right you only see the app but if you want to show the source code to the uh, people visiting this url you can turn on this one so all you need to do is just to uh, change this argument uh, sweep underscore sources to false then the user will be able to see the um the source code along with the app so i'm going to show you how to um do that okay so now you see this one in here right so this is right now external it's running on your local computer you are not hosting your app anywhere it's on your local computer if you shut down your computer people won't be able to access this website okay now let's go back to this one here because earlier we used uh, this one right voila to um start the app and then to convert this one to a website but there's no source code so all we need to do is come back to here where we uh, uh use voila and all we need to do is just control c and to stop this one so once you control c right now the voila um is stopped if i refresh the website it's, it it says no connection because the website right now is uh, stopped so all we need to do now we come back to this one here we just copy this and all we need to do, come back to here let me clear this one here and i just paste this one hit enter it should run it should run it again so now because we use the three uh, sources to force then it's going to show the source code so we can come back to the uh, angular website if we refresh and you see now it's running so you, now you see the source code in here and this gives you option if you want the user to see your source code uh, you can do that uh, if you if you don't want to then you you just uh, change this one to two or you don't have to uh, change this one because by default it's going to be true it doesn't show you the source code and now similar in here you can draw a rectangle zoom to anywhere and then but you need to scroll down because you have the source code down here so i just hit submit and then you will notice uh, it's going to go through the same um steps okay so this is one way you can show the source code the other one I want to show you is that um, so sometimes the 
uh, you don't want you want to use your local computer as a web server to host uh, the app but you don't want everyone to be able to access uh, you can also certainly add a username or a password into your url so that no one can if they don't have the username and password they won't be able to access this website so all you need to do copy and then for now you need to come back to the one that we used earlier right so this is the um the end road, uh, we we use earlier so all we need to do control c okay so basically stop the website so if, if this is already stopped now if we come back to here uh, you won't be able to do that because the uh, the website has been stopped so all we need to do paste and in here right you can change your username and then you can change your password um because right now the 8866 is running the void uh, notebook so all we need to do for example i can change the username to let's say admin and the password you can change to anything if you like I mean, one two three four five six right you can certainly change to a more um, uh, complicated password but i'm going to uh, use this and then if you hit enter now you will see this one is it's generating a new uh, url so all i need to do right click open the url now you see this one is uh, asking for username and password and this is more secure um, so let's type admin one two three one two three four five six and then you should see the same notebook that i deploy again this one is accessible to anyone if you send the link to anyone they should be able to open this one keep that in mind but um it depends on your computer so if you shut down your computer or if you stop the terminals then uh, the website won't be accessible um, just to keep that in mind okay so this is uh how you can host your uh, earth engine apps on your local computer and expose your local computer to the public so the other can use but this is not um just for notebook you can if you have a website if you have something hosted on your computer you can also do that as well so next i'm going to show you one quick way how you can build the website just within one or two minutes and then you can launch user Angrok to um, allow others to access your personal website. So let me first let's use a website called uh, you can go to this one html5apt.net. Okay, and then because this one is like a lot of um, uh, HTML, uh, HTML5 website templates. You can go through and find any template that you like right okay there are locked of them so and let me scroll down see if there's anything we like how about this one okay so all you need to do download the website and it's automatically download to my downloads folder so this is the one right all i need to do uh, unzipped unzip this one to a folder so now this is basically a website i can double click the uh, this one to open right pretty nice uh, it's just a website a template so how can we host this one on your computer but also allow other people to access you can certainly change um the the the, the name or every the text of this website but uh, this is not the focus i'm just going to show you how we can quickly turn this website into um public website and first let me stop all the previous running uh, instances okay. so let me stop this one okay so now let me open here and we are within this website so all i need to do uh, shift f4 and then from here you can go back to this command in here i'm using linux so i can use uh, sudo but if you're using um you might not be able to use this one on windows or mac but i'm just going to quickly show you what this is okay and then type my password then from here you will see 
now this one right now becomes a um, website on your local computer uh, let me refresh hope i have some uh, cases uh, here on my computer it should be this one anyway i'm just going to show you some ideas so once you have this one running then you can open another um, terminal then you can do the same thing what you're doing in here and run this one angle http and keep that in mind because now we are using um we are using the port number 80 so in here you need to type the 80 uh or one only one one instances so probably earlier i was running the other one Close this Close this open anyone okay so because i already have this one in here so it's, it doesn't allow me to do that let me stop this do this one one more time Beautiful. and ready in use Okay, let me change to the other one. Eighty-eight. Okay. And okay, so now you have this website running on your computer. Next step is to use Ngrok to activate this one. So I'm going to use ngrok. Okay. It's TTP port number eighty-eight. Okay. Again, you see here. Now we have the URL. Open the URL. And then from here now you have this website so it's still hosting on your local computer but it's um, exposed to the public so you can send the link to anyone or you can view this link using your cell phone or your uh, tablet or send it to anyone you like and um, this is a quick way that you can share stuff okay uh, anything else and that's pretty much for this tutorial if you enjoy this tutorial please consider hitting the like button and subscribe to my channel you can also leave comments down below hope to see you in my next video take care bye bye